we often find ourselves saying that we want to look underneath the car because that's where the money is. This might be the uh, poster car for that. This is a 1963 Silver. <clears throat> I call it a mild resto mod. The reason for that, it has a Tremec 5 speed, a Gen 2 LS1, or excuse me, LT1 engine in it. And as you'll see here in just a second, a bunch of stuff done underneath. Our rear valance is in great shape as well as our chrome, as you can tell. Uh, that's a little bit newer. I don't see any uh, issues. I do want to point out right at the edge there, I do have a little bit of chrome missing. But in general, those bumpers on all four corners are in excellent shape. As we come underneath, I do want to point out it has a, um, the tire, spare tire, and the spare tire in the carrier is a full size radial. So it should fit just fine on the, if you have any issues. Um, our bushings on the car are brand new. We have coilovers, or not coilovers, I apologize, but our strut rods that are adjustable. Newer shocks. As clean as I've seen on a trailing arm in a long time, and our frame looks like you could eat off of it. Very clean, solid, tongue cushion bushing in excellent shape. Our brake lines look to be newer, fuel lines look to be newer. And our, again, U joints and all that in very good shape, as well as our seating and storage compartments are in excellent shape as well. Um, as we make our way forward, uh, we'll notice that the welds are all exactly as they should be on the car on both sides. Those look really good as well as the frame. They even went so far as to put some of the factory markings on the vehicle. And it has the urethane bushings up front with the heavy duty sway bar. Our radiator's in excellent shape. And as I was looking at the car, this is a 1963 Corvette. And in 1963, they did not have disc brakes. This car has disc brakes all the way around. Just a real fine example of a very well done, but not overdone Resto Mod. Probably won't last long, so give me a call, 770-605-2056, or email john at buyavet.net. If I can answer questions about this beautiful Corvette or any of the hundreds of Corvettes I carry in stock, I would be glad to help. As always, subscribe to that YouTube channel so you didn't miss out on all the new inventory coming in. We'll see y'all out on the road.